Hello everyone, this is Silent Scope, and I'm back for another little tutorial, this time using Dolphin. Now, I'm doing this because I the first time using Dolphin, and I think it has probably the best net play available um, for using Capcom vs. SNK2 out of the three that can. So that's PCSX2, Demol, and Dolphin. Dolphin has definitely has the best net play. Um, uh, probably due to the fact that a lot of like the Smash community has worked on it and that kind of thing. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up Dolphin real quick. It's not that hard at all. Um, some really quick things. You just need to make sure that the person you're playing against has the same version of Dolphin as you and the same ISO that you have. So if you guys want to use the same ones, you guys can just use this as a reference. But starting off, the first thing you're going to do is you need to download the latest Dolphin. There is 5.0, but there is a newer thing called 5.0-321. This is the most up-to-date one with um, now they have melee net plays in it, but it's basically cleaned up. It's basically it's one of the best ones that I've I haven't actually tried five point I don't know what the actual difference is, but playing with this with the the matches I've had, it's really good. So download this. I've already downloaded it. Um and I I'll just extract it in a second. The next thing you need to download is the GameCube ISO. Um you can find that by doing searching in Google. Um here, you know what? I'll just do it right now. Uh, CVS2 GameCube ISO, and you want to find the one that says MU Paradise. Um, you go here, you download. Now this is GameCube, so it's the EO version, and you'll get to. Now just be aware of ads. Click download link. It'll take you to here. There will be an ad. Sometimes I already did the ad before you get to this, so just be aware. There's an ad. It'll ask you to write. You know, click in it, and then write the caption and verify and all that kind of stuff. It is a large download. It is 1.4 gigs, so it might take you a while, but um, I already have it downloaded um, over here, so we don't have to worry about that. So once those two are downloaded, you're pretty much set ready to go, and just make sure you have your controller plugged in and all that stuff. So real quick, I'm going to extract out Dolphin. Just going to do it to desktop. Now, um, if you do, if you actually get uh, did um, uh, Dolphin 5.0, it will actually install it. This is is this is just like PCSX2, where it puts a folder, and then you have an executable inside the folder. Ta-da! Uh, that's Dolphin. I'll put that here, so it just makes it easier. Next thing you need to do is you need to extract out the game desktop. Now this one will take a little bit longer. And don't worry about the warning, it says that, but it's fine. And this one will take a little bit longer, so we'll give that a minute. I probably should have done this earlier. I forgot how long this one takes. But pretty much after that, you just have to do some real quick uh, setup with controller. Um, the controller buttons are a little weird because no one really uses GameCube controller, so I'll show you what buttons go where using, you know, vernacular, not just like, oh, for a PS4 controller, this is X, this is square. I'll actually say light punch, light kick. That way it's easier for you to say, okay, I want light kick to be here, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and then I'll see if I can get someone to play net play with me on the Discord. There is a CVS2 Discord. Most people pl have been playing PCSX2 and Dimmel. Um, I've been playing, after playing Dolphin for a little bit, I might continue to play that online just because the net play is so good. Um, even for something that's like East Coast, West Coast, uh, you would have to you get a very, very um, prominent delay East Coast to West Coast. With Dolphin, delay is negligible. Maybe with a few, a few stuttering here and there, but it's still so much smoother than anything else, rather than Dimmel and PCSX2. So, and this is just about done. So once that's done, go ahead and close. So you have that here. I'm actually going to make a new folder just so you guys can make a new folder called Dolphin Games. Just so if you guys want to download other games, that way you're not just looking at that folder. We we put that in there. Okay, so that's in there now. So we can just delete this. Okay, so we're going to open up Dolphin. Now, that's just Windows 10 being a pain. 
click down on its performance. I no, don't care. Now Dolphin cannot find anything. Double click it. Now you have to you have to choose the game directory. People are saying they're having issues with this, so you just double click that. Now you choose the game directory. So desktop, Dolphin Games, select folder. Hey, look, there it is. Ta-da! All right. So like I said, first thing we need to do is do the controller. Um, so GameCube controller, Wii Remote. We're not going to worry about Wii Remote. So configure. Now here's where I say what is A, what is B, what's X, what's Y, and all that kind of stuff. So A is medium kick. Whoops. Is my controller not plugged in? Hello? Oh, oh, help if I... Oh, that's why. Change it to gamepad. There we go. Okay. Medium kick. B is light kick. X is medium punch. Y is light punch. Z is taunt. So you're going to want to set that to something because, as you know, taunt is actually a thing in CVS2. Start. And then light. Uh, L trigger is HK. Thank you. L trigger is HK. Right trigger is HP. So heavy So heavy kick, uh, heavy punch. Um, and we're going to use control stick up, down, left, right. And I have no idea what the hell that is, so don't even worry about that. And that's pretty much all you need. Um, I guess you can save it as a profile, I guess, if you want to. And then if you want to do uh, other, if you want to do uh, a second port, like if you want to play two-player on just one computer, you would do here, and you can set multiple ports. But that's all you need to do there. Um, configuring real quick. Um, one thing we're going to do is, uh, uh, what am I, what am I looking for? Oh. Uh, GameCube is for memory card. If you're going to do online, change memory card to nothing. Basically makes it so there's no memory card inserted. That way you guys don't desync. Just make sure you both have that same thing going on there. Otherwise, if someone has data, the other one doesn't, you'll desync and then you have to start over. So that's that. Um, nothing needs to be done there. Don't think there's anything to be done there. Audio's fine. We just did GameCube pass. If for some reason you can't find it there, this is how if or you change folders and it's like oh I can't find it anymore this is where you go to change the path so you can add another folder all that kind of stuff um, graphics wise this is where you can change graphics and all that kind of stuff I I've not messed with any of these so I'm not even gonna try so I'm just gonna show you this running real quick um, this is probably gonna be loud so give me a second here now it should Ooh, that was quick should be running on my graphics card. Should tell you up in here like what graphics card it's running under. Okay. And so as you can see, da da. I'm just going to training mode real quick. And we'll show you some of the fun stuff. So this is something new with with CVS2. I'm going to reduce this volume a little bit more. Um, is GCism is GameCube version is GameCube mode, which basically is the you press a button and a special comes out. You want ACism for actual gameplay. That's where you actually input motions and stuff. This you can get like Sonic Boom, infinite Sonic Boom pressure in the corner and that kind of thing. So you want ACism, and I'm just gonna show you some real a really fun. Why is that not working? That was weird. Why is that button not working? Hold on. I think something's wrong with my contr with my thing. That was weird. And yes, you can do this in the middle of it. So, it's no big deal. Left. Oops! That's why. That's left analog. Uh... Middle click to clear. Clear. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about that. HK. <laughs> HP. My bad. That's right. That's analog. My bad. There we go. There they are. So you can see the when the, the lights up when the buttons are clicked, and you can see the thing moving around. Okay. My bad. Okay. Okay. There we go. Wee. P group cancels. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, more flashy one is this one. Anyways, okay, there you can see it's working. Um, sprites are a little washed up, but that's just GameCube version, so. 
Oops, sorry, my apologies. I'm using Microsoft Expression, so I'm limited to 10 minutes of and using the free trial, so I'm limited to uh, 10 minute down, 10 minute recordings. But anyway, so just showing that it's working. Oops, and the thing is, if you click out of screen, it's like kind of like um, a fight cade in that way. Um, it won't do anything. You have to click back in the screen, and then it works. So and that's even work. That even happens during that play. So just be aware of that. But anyways, you can see it working. Um, I'm going to close this real quick. Now I'm going to see if there's anybody willing to do a really quick... Probably should have done this before I recorded, but it's okay. There were a few people on like an hour ago, but let's see if there's anybody on. If not, I just will do the give you the walkthrough on how to set up the net play on how to do net play. It's not that hard. Do, do, do. Um, I'll I'll have all of these links in the description. I'll have a link to the Discord to the CVS2 Discord in the description of this video as well. Um, the invites and it'll be a you know use it. It's not just for a day. It'll be good for all time. All right. Looks like nobody's answering. Um, people are playing other stuff. Okay, um, so I'll just show you real quick. So to do net play, and it works if you're trying to connect or host, is you do tools and you do start net play. Who'd have thunk it, right? Okay, so now, God, go. Oh, don't show this again. Stupid Windows 10. Okay, so now this is a direct connection. Now this is if you want to do. Now it's always P2P, but this is if you want to. You have to worry about this one. You have to worry about ports and IP address, which is similar to Demol and PCSX2 in that way. If you don't have to worry about that, um, you change direct to transversal. Um, you can change this, so silent scope. Um, it will actually change the name that pops up. So now there's host code here. That what number goes there. So just oh, really quickly read this. All players must have the same Dolphin version. That's why I say make sure you have the same 5.0-321. If one has 5.0 and the other one also has 5.0-321, it's not. It won't connect. I've tried that. Uh, memory cards must be the same or just disabled. That's why we say just change it to none. The ROMs or the ISOs must be the same. And then if you're doing direct connection, you must have your the port opened. So that way you don't have to worry about that. You just do transversal. So I'm going to host, select the game, host. All right, so now I'm hosting the game and it shows me there. Now that host ID that you saw is actually this and you so is this number so you can just type that give that to them type it in or you hit copy and and you can paste it into whatever you can paste it into here or whatever and then they use that and they log in now as you see there's it'll show you my name shows you what version ping status ready it'll show the second person when they come in um, you can assign them ports if you don't want them to, if like, if you just want them to be uh, um, spectators. Um, most people can come in, but you could then you can assign them not to have an actual port. You could just assign them none, so that way they're actually not playing, and it should, and they'll actually spectate, and it shouldn't, and according to them, it doesn't affect the the net play. So um, I'm okay with that. Um, I haven't actually tried that. I should probably try that with multiple people next time, but it's okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that so you have ping, it'll show the next, so you have the same kind of thing, it'll show ping. Um, it rec and then based on the ping, you change the buffer. It's, I don't know if it's the same as delay, but basically it's the buffer window. And basically they say for every 15 uh, milliseconds of ping, have about have one thing of buffer. Um, so, so for somebody, but I've seen it do a little bit more than that, so I like people who where I was playing 50 to 60 milliseconds I had it at 5 and 6 that was kind of still a little low I put it to 7 and it worked great somebody at 100 milliseconds we were doing east coast to west coast I set it to about 10 milliseconds and it still ran smooth about the same pretty much exactly the same as someone who was uh, both west coast and I set the buffer to 5 or 6 and that's why I think this is probably the best net play there is so that's pretty much it um, I wish I could show you it. Oops, I clicked the wrong damn thing. Looks like no one's here in, in right now. Um, if you're interested, send me a message. I can show you how to hook this up. Get out of that. 
Um, it's a really simple thing. You don't have to worry about BIOS. The only thing you need to download is the ISO and the game and the and the Dolphin. That's all you need to do. Um, if you're desyncing, make sure your uh, memory cards are both eject are both at set to nothing. That way, nobody has data. If your game is stu if you're connected to somebody and the game stutters, like it's going, -ya 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 -ya, that means your pad buffer is probably too low. Increase the pad buffer. You can increase it during game. Okay. Um, and apparently you can write to memory card, so that way you can actually have it save data if you wanted to. Basically, with this, once you have someone in, you just hit start, and it probably will do actually do this as well. Oh, see, there it actually shows you what graphics cards it's running under, and so it actually is still runs, so it just doesn't have somebody on the second player, which is fine. Okay. Yes. And so that'll just close the emulation, but it'll still keep this open. So you can stop in game. So if you want to play with someone else and you want to assign someone else to a controller, so you actually can do lobbies essentially. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically all you need to do. Um, I don't know what any of this is, so I don't mess with it. Oh, and if I guess you have multiple games, you can select a game. All that kind of cool stuff. Like I said, this is amazing. Whoever I want to find the people who made this and ha and force them to fork on PCSX2, but for the moment, this is probably the best net play you can do with geez, uh, Capcom vs SNK2. Even though it is EO and you have some, there are some changes. Um, I might do a video of that, but for the most part, this is what I wanted to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you're if you're having trouble, feel free to message me. I'll do what I can to help you out. I'm really new to Dolphin, but I'll do what I can. All right, you guys have a good one.